You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. And, the, and this administration has a problem when we can go down the line, department by department, the consistent rolling back of civil rights protections. Consistently. Not just in one department, but multiple departments. The Trump administration doesn't give a damn about civil rights. Well, I, I disagree with that. Well, first of all, you've had... <laughs> hold up. Oh, you, you, you disagree with it? Okay, okay, okay. So explain to me this. Okay, so explain to me the rollback of civil rights protections in HUD. The rollback of civil rights protections in HHS. So you're talking well, about I'm not one done. instance. I'm not, no, I'm not done. The rollback of civil rights protections in, uh, in uh, you have the Department of Education. When you have the first thing Jeff Sessions did, and Barr has, uh, has followed him with it, the first thing they said, we're going to pull back consent decrees, we're going to pull back investigating police departments, because you know what? It's hurting your morale. We can go department by department. We can pull it up. Well, the federal government has done reports, Inspector General's done reports, showing that the Trump administration is consistently rolling back civil rights protections across the board. That tells me you don't give a damn about civil rights. Well, I disagree with that. Um, just because any administration, um, whether it's Trump administration, Obama administration, what have you, just because they may take a position that you disagree with, whether that's around civil rights or otherwise, doesn't so, mean, so, doesn't, so, doesn't mean so that you they're support, not... So you support their rolling back of civil rights protections? Well, I, you would have to cite specific ones, and I think on this... I just did! On the particular one that you introduced with housing, I said that I'm kind of on the fence about that. I need to actually do more research on it to see what's the ultimate effect on. I hear from the people, the activists who are saying, well, this is how it's going to harm us. But I actually would like to do some actually due diligence and research that, then assume that, okay, well, well that because... Well, that was your it, job because before the, you came on the show. Because the Trump, well, I did, and I didn't get enough to actually suggest that it was something that was going to be harmful beyond the activists saying that it was going to be harmful. So I didn't see any data uh, in how about any this? of that. Okay, have you, but have, but have, I still have, have don't you... believe that because of that instant or the what Jeff, what Jeff Sessions did or anything that Barr supports... You make a general statement when you say that they don't support civil rights, period. That's what I reject. That's what I, no, um, I mean, first I'm opposed to. I'm, I'm I don't sorry. think that they, uh, I don't uh, think uh, yeah, it's uh, easy to say. Well, first of all, 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 all you have to do is uh, even go look at the U.S. Conference on Civil Rights. Uh, I'm, uh, you, I'm sorry, the U.S. Civil Rights Commission, okay? A federal commission that laid out rollback of civil rights. Wilma, go ahead. This is even a bigger issue in terms of deregulation overall. And one of the things that conservatives particularly and through the Trump administration have been very effective at doing is what? Deregulation. And what gets lost in the deregulation argument as they talk about red tape and making it easier for industry to bring things to, to market and so on and so forth. On the other side of that regulation where you're looking at corporate side, on the other side of that regulation are people who are being protected by those regulations. And that's also what gets lost in this conversation is, yeah, it's going to be easier now for the states to, uh, to, to, to do what they want to do in terms of making it harder for the fair housing side while people, to your point, are losing their homes. Bomb lines is here. Department after department after department, we have seen a rollback in civil rights protections. That's clear. Google it. Well, well, yeah, but that's different than not being concerned about. That's that's a very well. Broad, hell, well, well, very, well, 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 hell, it's, if, it's, you, if you're doing a, if you're doing a consistent rollback of civil rights protections in multiple departments, Melek, that means you don't give a damn about the so issue. Typically, Republicans are pro rolling back regulations across the board. So that hold up, hold up, but, but, but I thought I thought Republicans are always touting how they voted for the Civil Rights Act and Voting Rights Act. So so so, so which is it? Do they care? Do Republicans support civil rights? Or are they largely against them? Well, from everything that I know about the Republican Party, they are supportive of civil rights. The one today. <laughs> no, I, I, I ain't talking about 1964. The, the, one, the one today. The one today. I've met with them. Really? So, so, explain, so explain to me why one of the first things the Republicans did when Donald Trump became president was to go to the floor of the House, pass a bill, went to the Senate, signed to law that rolled back Obama-era protections that was targeting uh, discrimination in the auto industry. 
Well, that's something that that's one instance that you can. No, no, no. And it's something that and it's something that you can. And it's and it's actually something that you can criticize. But again, as I'll repeat. No, you asked for specifics. I get that's one. And I said said that that's something that can be criticized. What I'm pushing back against is this general assumption that Republicans don't care about civil rights. Now, this is this. I mean, that's something that's easy to say. It's easy to say against Republicans. If we listen to Kanye West, George Bush didn't even like black people. So the notion that somehow a Republican in office or a conservative in office is rolling back certain regulations or you take issues with specific things that the party has done and then you assign that some type of racist or anti-civil rights you know, motivation, that's not a surprise. Headline right here. Go to my iPad, time. please. Go to my... Uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to pull up here. Uh, uh, you can't refute the data. Wilma, go that's ahead. No you can't, you can't refute the data here, which, by the way, this husband. No, I'm not, I'm not refuting was, data. No, no, I'm not refuting thing. data. Let's, let's look. Let's look at voting rights regulations, and let's look at voting protections, and let's look at where are people being stricken from voting rolls right now. Two hundred and fifty thousand people in in Wisconsin. Three hundred thousand people in Georgia. And now these are uh, Republican-led states. That are, that are doing this, and you've got Republican appointed judges that are supporting this, right? So, uh, so, and talking about the cross check program and how many people have been stricken from the voting rolls through the cross check program. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You want, you want specifics? Tied to civil rights. You want specifics? This is a May 29, 2017 article in the Washington Post. Headline Trump administration plans to minimize civil rights efforts in agencies, plural, says right here. Since the 1960s, the Labor Department's compliance office has ensured that contractors promote diversity. Trump administration want to disband it. They lay out here, right here, not uh, in, mul- in multiple uh, uh, departments, EPA, labor, they lay out education, Okay, under President Trump's proposed budget, the Education Department's Office of Civil Rights, which has investigated thousands of complaints of discrimination in school districts across the country and set new standards for how colleges should respond to allegations of sexual assault and harassment, will also see significant staffing cuts. Uh, They also, uh, administration officials acknowledge in budget documents, the Civil Rights Office will have to scale back the number of investigations it it conducts and limit travel to school districts to carry out its work. So basically, y'all investigate yourselves. Okay? HUD, HHS, I'm going down the line here, Department of Justice. This article lays out multiple agencies. Okay, so what you're referring to is an article that was written five months into Donald Trump's term about a proposed budget. Do you know of those that you just cited, how many of those are actually were part of? They the yes, they law? had robots. Robots. Hold on, so, they had civil rights robots in HUD. Civil okay. rights robots. No, 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 no. I mentioned you the multiple departments. Mm-hmm. Okay, in every single one of these federal agencies. You have had civil rights rollbacks. Well, so you said that cutting staffing, you know, so that's what you're using as an example of not being, you know, so there... Okay, any, any, <laughs> Mellon, who, this is Washington, D.C. Is... The best way in order to, to target something is to cut the money. Well, as someone who's worked in a federal and government agency, as someone who's worked in a federal government agency and know how it works and know how bloated government actually oh, is... Oh, now we bloated. Oh, well, boy. Well, what well, 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 government, well, government is... Okay. Well, gov- so, he, 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 so, here's, so now, here's so now we're undeniable. saying that, that okay, government... Okay, so, again, okay, fine. You so can explain make, to me how... You, you can make explain it, to me how you can make multiple, the argument... Explain to me how mm-hmm. in multiple... Agencies. Yes. They're rolling back civil rights protections. Well, multiple. Not one agency, multiple. Okay, well, this particular and the one that you were talking about that you introduced here about the fair housing one. Now, because they rolled back again, they may roll head back at the federal level or you may have an issue no, they with didn't. what they're proposing. That's there. not what they no no. You're, that's not what they did. You, well, I'm sorry, they first eliminated. Of all, first of all, no, no, well, they, hold on. They, first of all, let they me correct eliminated you. That. Let me correct you. First of all, they tried to enact this in 2010. Okay. They got sued. So, they, no, I'm and not, prior no, I'm to not, 2010, no, wait, 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 what was the activity no, listen, on it? Listen, 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 listen. Mm-hmm. Carson came in, mm-hmm. her secretary. He got sued. Okay. Okay? Got sued. They lost. Mm-hmm. Okay? They had a settlement. Who lost? Trump administration lost. Okay. Okay? Now, what they did was so they, then they suspended the rule. Mm-hmm. So they said, okay, we're not going to change it. We're going to suspend it. We're going to suspend it. Okay. Now they're trying to come back 
and totally get rid of it. So I thought that they were sued. They weren't able to do that because they were sued. Now, that was short-term. It was a short-term fix. So they weren't sued? Yes, they were sued. But it was short term. So you, now they've come back to do the same now thing come again, back, and that's what they're proposing to do the same thing. And they're going to get sued again. But and, and they very well may be sued again. But to your premise on whether or not Republicans care about civil rights, no, I'm not going to be on your show and say Republicans don't care about civil rights because that's something that I actually don't what, believe. What, what you like? Now, what you now, like? There are lots of things. What you like to see? What you like to see? I can go down. What you like to see the report card? I can go down. What you like to see the report card? I don't necessarily. Of civil rights organizations that. Will show that they're Republican. against that they're against something that a Republican administration will do. No, civil rights, no. A civil rights organization I will show you that will be against where something they will that a Republican show you how they have We can go down the list of bills. things. We can go down the list of things, and I don't think it's I don't think it's something that's particularly helpful. But we can go down a list of things that Democrats support that I believe are harmful to the Black community. That's not, now, uh, this, uh, now let this, me say it again. Now, now this is let something me say that it I again. believe, but I'm but not, not going to posit that somehow Democrats don't care about um, Black people First, so, because they may because they. No, no, here's what I said. Cop what I said is this here. Republican Party and the Trump administration... Don't care. You say they don't give a damn about civil rights. Don't give a damn about yeah. civil rights. And I do not believe that. Well, guess what? That means that you don't believe facts. Well, that, going, that's your that, opinion. That, no, no, it's not my that's, opinion. That's, I, I, first rolling. of all, you ask... You are... Melon, res, you, Melon, are res, you, you can't are ground ask me for specific. For the no, resistance. So the notion that you, you would can't think ask the Trump for administration specifics. is somehow racist you, or whatever, you, can't ask you start for specifics, with it. And I hit you with specifics. And then you say, that's not enough specifics. Well, that's not what I comment. That's not what happened. Right. And if it's like, I give you specific, that's, that's say, oh, not, well, no, that's, that's isolated. What, that's not what happened, Roland. That's isolated. That's, that's not what happened. Well, my final comment, go ahead. You can't argue with the data, and really, Malik, you're pursuing a, 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 a bad premise, and you're trying to support an unsupportable argument, because the Republican Party, by the actions that Roland just articulated and then I articulated, at every opportunity that they get they roll back civil rights protections. And he's giving you the data, nothing else, nothing else you can say. Well, as I said, I, I agree with, I disagree with Roland just as I disagree well, you with disagree. you. Why, because I, you, because, I, you, because you well, support si Trump, si you're gonna vote rights, for Trump, and rights, you don't wanna own up rights, to the and, roll back of civil rights and, protections. And it's not that I don't wanna roll up to it. I said that we can actually talk about those things, but I can also talk about the things that I think that have been beneficial to the black community that the administration has done. In civil you rights? Don't, you don't think, In civil rights? Well, there's more than no, just No, but I'm talk, asking. There's more than just talking about civil but rights. But the conversation there, is civil rights. Well, sure, but there's that's, more than... That's literally... Wait, wait, wait Melly, 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 that's, literally, that's literally like us sitting here having a conversation no. about cooking, and all of a sudden you bring up that about is, changing the time. That is an aspect that ain't got of to do with the conversation. That is, that is an aspect of something you disagree with that the no, administration it's, no, is doing. No, Melly, but if we're actually talking about the conversation. overall picture of how black people Melly, have progressed here's the deal. under this administration, Melly, I can game, provide you many. Melly, game, I can provide you Melly, many game recognize game. I can provide when you, you cannot, many, when you cannot discuss the subject at hand, it's always great to try to change the that, subject. It's not a matter of changing the subject. Yes, I said, that's what you want to do. Well, let's let's go down the list of things that I no, said. No, actually, hold well, on. First, first, already got, can first be, of all, we've already gone Trump, down. I said the Trump administration can be criticized with that. I Criticized with that. I said, well, let's have a conversation about that. So to sit, first on, of to all, sit next I, to I me laid and out if all the I facts. Say that, bomb line is, bomb bomb line is here. Again, I, the Trump administration doesn't give a damn about civil rights. Gotta go to break. We'll be back at Roland Unfiltered in a moment. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.